Hi, this is Chuck Martin. We're in Austin, Texas. And I'm happy to say I've got with me here Andrew Callum, Manager of Technology Solutions, Worldwide Construction and Forestry from John Deere. Welcome. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. So John Deere Construction, what is that about? Well, the construction equipment division is part of John Deere, just like the agricultural division is part of John Deere. So most people think of iconic John Deere with the big green agricultural equipment. Well, we have big yellow equipment as well uh, that has the very important task of helping build infrastructure. So bridges and roads, hospitals, big box retail stores, all of that construction is all around us. And it's the John Deere construction equipment that help makes that happen. So where does technology fit in the grand scheme of construction with John Deere? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a number of construction elements that we put in place to ensure that we can deliver smarter, safer, and more sustainable equipment for our customers to help do some of the most important tasks and automate particularly some of the most difficult tasks that our customers have to do. Like what's some of the technology, for example? So uh, on board, many of these big pieces of construction equipment are things like onboard modems uh, through a device we call JD Link, which communicates machine data up to a cloud and visualizes for customers. We also have elements of automation on a, these machines to help automate some of those difficult tasks. Uh, we also use machine learning computer vision in places uh, to help identify risks or hazards on job sites. And there's even places where we're using autonomy across John Deere to help um, shore up the labor gap and enable customers to get more done with their existing workforce. Now, a lot of the people who are going to see this have seen a series we did on, on John Deere Farming, the high-tech farm oh, here yeah. in Austin, Texas, actually. Um, how, do, how does that fit with the technology that you're using in construction? Yeah, the, the uh, technology that's used on the egg side of the business is also part of a construction set stack that we're leveraging or a technology stack that we're leveraging for construction equipment. So those same enabling technologies that, in, that are being placed in those egg tractors, we're using for construction to deploy solutions to meet our construction customer needs. And use this any kind of vision technology? Yeah, that's a great example. So the same technology that's being used on agricultural equipment to enable autonomous tractors and to enable us to be able to see the difference between a crop and a weed, we're using that same technology. Instead of looking at the ground, we're pointing it up and we're identifying people on job sites to help our construction contractors have a tool in their toolbox to help improve operators identify when people are around big machines. So I presume with that you're capturing a lot of data. What do you do with that data, if anything? Yeah, enormous amount of data is coming from machines and our fleet of connected machines is uh, about half a million across agriculture and construction. So we're collecting all of this machine data, some job site data, and we're visualizing it for our customers so that they can orchestrate their fleets, make sure they have the right assets in the right places being utilized to the right level so that they can manage and maintain maintenance on their machines, just like we change oils and, or change oil in our car. They have to maintain the fluids in those construction pieces. And knowing where they are and how many hours they have on them is extraordinarily helpful for that. And then they're also using that machine data to monitor the health of the machines. So if those machines are communicating diagnostic trouble codes or problems that they're having, that gives us the opportunity to resolve those problems before it causes the machines to go down and stop working, which can be extraordinarily challenging on construction sites. If you can envision... Uh, a paving job and you have five concrete trucks lined up ready to uh, unload concrete and you have machines that aren't running, that gets really expensive really quickly. So are all machines connected? Yes, all of our construction machines are connected and many of our compact construction machines are connected as well. So a year from now, we're sitting here having this conversation. What will we be talking about in construction? A year from now, I think we're still going to be talking about the biggest challenges our customers have and how we're deploying technology to solve the challenges of labor and the challenges of waste and rework and the challenges of helping improve job site safety. Well, I look forward to that conversation. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.